Sync Render gives you $300 worth of spending on rendering jobs if you are a new registrant to that service. So register with Sync Render on Google Cloud Platform at SyncRender.com. For this, the process requires you to have a Google account which you will need to log in into a Sync client application on your desktop computer and a Sync plugin installed within the plugin directory of your VFX application like MOOC, Maya or Houdini FX. Those are some of the only applications supported right now, but Sync promises to include some others soon, like After Effects. When finishing registration, it will take you to a final website. This actually will be your assigned account management from where you will handle all your rendering projects with Sync. There, you will see a red banner sign at the bottom warning you that you need to add a payment method. Here is where you will need to go to Google Cloud Platform Console at cloud.google.com and on the dashboard tab, enter your billing information for future charges after running out of your first $300 worth gift from Google. The following step will be to visit the download page from the same former website at download.synrender.com and proceed to download the two installers, one for the Sync client application and another for the Sync plugins. When installing the plugins, it will assign automatically the respective plugin to each supported VFX application you already have on your computer, let it be Nook, Maya, etc. Once you are all set, run the Sync application from your computer as you would any other software, and enter the short URL link you have customized for yourself when registering with Sync. Example, your custom name dot sync dot io. Enter the Google email address and password for that registration and do not close that client application window while executing your project. It must remain open at all times. Next step will be to open your VFX application like Nook, Maya, etc. Open the specific project you want to render and proceed to render as you would on your machine. The only difference would be that this time you will select the render with sync from the rendering options available. This will open a window setting for rendering with sync where you will set your rendering choices and the most important is to log in using again your same Google account and password. After you have reached this point, you can execute your render project with sync to take care of lifting the heavy render work of your computing machine. Should you want to learn more on the correct technical side of how to submit your rendering projects to Sync, you can visit Sync documentation and Sync tutorials at download.syncrender.com. You can also join group discussion about Sync Render on the LinkedIn.com professional social media. Thank you for watching, I hope this video has been informational for the excellence of your future VFX business work. This is Joshua Selva, a freelance VFX artist.